Scram! I don't want to see your sort anymore. I don't want to see your sort anymore. What are you up to? What are you up to? What's going on here? You can stop sneaking around. I've spotted you. Don't Get do out. anything stupid. Well, I well. Said, Get A out. new face here on Tyrannis. Reason for your stay on Tyrannis? I'm searching for answers. Aren't we all? But we don't prevent anyone from working. When I'm in search of answers, I study the old scriptures. That takes up a lot of time, not to mention sleep. But let's get on with the procedure. I will document and archive your arrival. Every bit of information could be important. Well, if you say so. Aren't you worried that someone might steal the books? No. There aren't many among the drunkards who can read. So our parchment won't be of interest to them. Losing the crystals would be the worst thing that could happen to us mages. But we've taken precautions. How are you going to stop thieves? The simplest means are also the most effective. Take me, for example. My valuables are always stored in my own chest. And because every single thief will search my body for the key, I have given it to the gnome Zakir. You see, it's a system that's completely safe. Why do you need all this information? There has to be an institution of some sort in this time and age that consolidates the knowledge of all mankind. If we lose that knowledge, we lose all chance of a future. Just thinking of how much knowledge was lost during the conflict with the Inquisition makes me shudder. Can you tell me something about the shadows? Hmm, let me think. It's not the first time that their kind walks this earth. Something is driving them on, but I can't say what it is. All I know for sure is that if they're not stopped, the existence of mankind hangs in the balance. But thanks to our reactor, we're equipped for the challenge. Horath, the Guardian, was supposed to contact you. Right, I see. Go on. 
He's been held up. Is that so? Well, let's waste no more time on Horace's silly tricks and get down to action. What's your problem with Horace? He's unreliable, cocky, and dawdles away his time with worldly vanities. That also applies to many other Guardians and Cadets. They prefer going on adventures rather than serving the community. Whatever you say. Master Erasmus's work on the reactor is exemplary. But if we had some more rock crystals, we'd vastly improve its efficiency. Some Guardians have been sent out to the other islands in the Southern Seas to search for them. Unfortunately, only a small amount of them have reached me so far. We definitely need the spoils of the other Guardians. Horas should look for them and bring me their spoils. That should be all of them. Horas should know exactly what to do. How were the shadows defeated back then? Your perspicacity astonishes me. This question is indeed worth considering. I don't think that people back then could have created anything like our reactor. Maybe the demon hunters or the natives will be able to provide the answer. But I wouldn't expect any sensible answers from their hocus-pocus. Can you teach me things? If you give me the necessary small contribution. That should be no problem. I can't teach you any spells, of course. Unless you're one of us. C is for centrifugal force. Get out! A great mnemonic. I said get out! Go on, Scram! What do you want with the mages? I take care of many things that the average soul could never comprehend. It is down to me, and me alone, to make sure our crystal gloves exceed all expectations. Thanks to the gloves, each guardian is able to focus the magic that we mages wield intuitively. I want to learn how to use the crystal glove. You? No. Only someone who serves the Guardians may receive this honor. Until you've been sworn in, you will be forbidden to use the Crystal Gloves. Have you got any work for me? I assume you're not offering to restructure our filing system, are you? Um... no. Good. Gnomes could do it better than you anyway. But there's one thing you could do for me. The intensive study of magic often makes me hungry. And my palate demands delicacies from across the southern seas. If you find any specialities on your journeys, I'd be prepared to buy them from you. And as for your delicacies... Would you like something special on your plate? What kind of question is that? A gourmet like me always eats the most exquisite food. An exquisite cheese, a delicious ham, or some dainty mussels. That is how I prefer to dine. Top it off with an aromatic wine. Any idea where I might find your specialities? I heard that the demon hunters on Calidor serve a delicious ham. I also know of a pirate who's a master of brewing. I believe his name is Bruce. As for the mussels, you'd best look on Antigua. And the cheese. Well, Zacharias, head of our order, had a unique one delivered recently. I'll see what I can find. Excellent. But don't even think of serving me something common. I don't want to be sick. Let's see what I've got. A tasty ham. An aromatic wine. Hmm, I think something's still missing. Come back as soon as you've got everything. I don't want to be kept waiting. 
Let's see what I've got. A tasty ham. An aromatic wine. Hmm, I think something's... Come back as soon as... Your stock of crystals must magically attract thieves. Thieves? Imbecile. What sort of fool would try to steal from a mage? And just in case anyone gives it a try, I've posted a guard outside my chambers. I need not worry about my valuables. If no one's going to steal from you, why not get rid of the guard outside your room? Get rid of him? Me? It's a question of status. I've earned this luxury. I'm not some simple turnip farmer. Enough talk. My time is valuable, and because you have hogged so much of it for yourself, you are now going to get me a book from my chambers. Tell the guard you're acting on my orders. Bring me the book, Metaphysical Transcendence. I'll make it sometime today. Huh? Oh, you not magic man. Busy see right away. Impressive. You're clever. Yep, busy bring delivery dinghy. Not always right sorted, but with time I get better. Without help of Gunu, big chaos. Do the mages treat you well? If busy sped at help of magic men smile. I understand. The mages are happy with you if you work hard. Yip yip. That's why work lots. No blah blah. Master Lumbrock always say speech is silver, violence is gold. It's speech is silver, silence is gold. Homie sure? Very sure. Where's... Get out! Don't you dare pocket Go anything! On. Scram! What? Oh, are you new here? Well spotted, old man! Don't give me any cheek! Could you assist me, soldier? Or, uh, wait a moment, um, what was I saying? I'm not a soldier. Really? Oh, well, my eyes aren't the best these days, you know. How can I help you, young man? I've heard coconut oil is good for your brain. Maybe you should try it before something else goes wrong. Coconut oil? <laughs> Why don't you put some proper clothes on before you talk to me like that? You seem a little confused. Yes, yes, that's true. I'm about to make a breakthrough in my small experiment, but I'm still missing something important. Uh, I just keep getting carried away there. What did you say you want? Who is the most powerful mage among you? The Honorable Mage, Zacharias. Right, and where is he? He is with his research subject behind the reactor, on the other side of the Great Canyon in the Northeast. How do I get to meet Zacharias? He's deeply engrossed in his research. He's most interested in the reactor. He needs its magical energy for his research project. 
As long as the reactor isn't working again, I fear that he's not going to see anyone. I see. Where is your experiment? The experiment is nowhere, just in my head. It's a... Uh, well, what? No idea. A thought experiment. <laughs> right. Yes, you see, I'm trying to determine the amount of energy that our monolith network needs for the reactor. Reactor? What's that? Oh, do you want to see the reactor? It's my greatest creation to date. Really? Follow me. I'll show you what we have achieved. This building and the one on the far side of the canyon form a circular focal point. We call it a reactor or a magical ring. The flows of magical energy converge beneath the bridge between the two buildings. Once the reactor starts running, it disrupts the equilibrium of the elements. The Titans don't like that at all, and they will give Tyrannus a wide berth in order to avoid the flow of energy. Fascinating, isn't it? Impressive construction. Indeed. However, we only managed to start up the reactor once, and that was only briefly. We quickly realized that we couldn't keep up the flow of energy for long. We simply need more magical power in order to keep the reactor operational. We need to reinforce the network with suitably large monolith stones. Right. Sounds complicated. The lightning monoliths erected on Tyrannus accumulate the island's magical energy. They stand in a most favorable constellation for the energy flux. All we have to do is divert it to the crystals in our reactor. Easy. I see. What are you waiting for? The monolith stones haven't reached their destination yet. I've been waiting for days to hear news that the stones have been installed. You mean, the stones need to be inserted into the lightning monoliths? Oh. You have been paying attention. Yes, exactly. About the monoliths. How many monolith stones do we need? Three stones for three lightning monoliths. We've got two of them here on the island. Our old friend Ifuego got one of them from us. A gnome named Kasim. But the little chap should have been back ages ago. I think I can help you with the lightning monoliths. Really? How? Let me take care of it. That's true in theory, but the problem is, even if we have all the stones... What then? The monoliths are very far away, and they're surrounded by wild animals. Make sure you're well equipped if you head out there. Thanks for the advice. About the monoliths. I brought Horus from Takarigura along with me. I was worried that he might never return. And the stone? We have the monolith stone. Wonderful. The stone will do its job as soon as it's inserted correctly into a monolith. That's wonderful news. I knew Di Fuego still had the stone. How is old Governor Di Fuego anyway? He's dead. Oh. That's... um... Uh... Where were we? You trusted a gnome with something as important as that? Hmm. Why not? They work alongside with us. All right. Once again, for the deaf. Have you placed several shiny stones into the hands of a gnome? Um... Yes? And now you expect him to willingly deliver them? Yes. I think you should leave matters to someone else. But how? How are we supposed to find Kasim again? What was a mage doing with someone like Governor Di Fuego? We were once... How should I put it? Let's just say we were business partners. 
It was a long time ago, you must understand. What happened? Well, he supported our research. And in return, we supplied him all the crystals and minerals that we couldn't use from the mines around Caldera. It went well for quite some time, until the day that all the mages were banned from Caldera. We had just enough time to save our skins. In the end, we were able to save two monolith stones from the chaos. The third one remained on Caldera. I think the Inquisition soldiers gave it to De Fuego. About the monolith. I found Cassim's monolith stones. Ha! That means he really did hide them somewhere. Well, good that they're back now. They just have to be placed in the lightning monoliths. We must hurry, young man. What a wonderful spot for a mass sacrifice. Don't think about it. It belonged to the leader of the expedition that discovered the Fountain of Youth. But he died before he could imbibe the deadly water himself. The vial is said to be buried on Takarigua. I see. Next taki, no, no. Get out. Go on, scram. Go on, Scram! Oh, there was something there. Don't even think about it. I'll notice immediately if you nick something. Stop! Not another step! Come on. Let me into the Great Hall of the Mages. I'll try not to get into any trouble. Very well. After all, you've done much for us. Go to them. But don't distract them too much from their work. Great. Stop! Not another step! General Magnus asked me to speak to the mages. Oh yeah? And I'm supposed to believe that. Do I have to get the general down here? Uh, nah. Forget it, I believe you. For all I care, just go in if you want. 
Are you this friendly to everyone? You aren't responsible for the Mage's safety. If anything goes wrong or goes missing, I'm the one who gets it in the neck. They don't pay me nearly enough for this shit. You put your heart and soul into your work. Don't mess with me, all right? I thought being a guardian would make me rich and famous. I'd go out and do some heroic deeds, and everyone in the tavern would love me for it. Instead, I just hang about here, and every once in a while some cretin comes by and wants to compete with me. Stop! Master Lumbrock's private quarters are not the place for you. Is that so? Yes, and my orders were extremely clear. Nobody is allowed to enter, and I'm sticking to that. Let me through. Without good reason, no. Master Lumbrock asked me to get a book. Oh, he did, did he? Well, I happen to know the book's in his quarters. So tell me its title. Let's see if you're telling the truth. Metaphysical Transcendence. Hmm, we do have that book. All right, you can pass. But remember, only that book, nothing else. Don't bother me while I'm working.
Well, well. Look what we have here. What brings you to me? Knowledge of magic? No, someone like you will never understand that. I've got the book you wanted. Impressive. It's truly one of a kind. But of course, you don't know that. Master Horatio, may he rest in peace, wrote it himself. But I can see that you're not interested. Just take this gold as payment. That ought to be enough for hired muscle like you. I'm not a smith. Uh, is someone there? Your protégé, Ali, is well taken care of. Magnus is going to train him as a guardian. Yep, yep. Good fucking news! Ali now pivy of Magnus! Jaffa now free! How about it? Will you join my crew? Jaffa go on big fucking journey again! Where is your ship, Captain? I don't have a big ship. Only a small sloop. Fuck! You no room for Jafar! Stupid, homie! I'll wait till you have big ship. Then just come back and I sail. Hey, wait! Aren't you? Ah, forget it. Out with it. You're the guy they are all talking about around here, aren't you? Are they? Yes. They say you have what it takes. So you know all about the gnomes, don't you? You're in charge of the gnomes. Ah... If only it was just the gnomes. There's also my wife, Paula. She keeps annoying me with unimportant things. Clean the house. Do something about the vermin. There are rats everywhere. Don't dirty the floor. Take off your shoes. I understand. As if I didn't have enough problems of my own. Women. Precisely. Gnomes sure do keep you on your toes. Yeah, they all look the same. I still have to find three of them. I got a list from Magnus. I don't have time for those little shits. What's it like working for the mages? They really know how to get things done. My wife and I made a point of moving to Tyrannus. We're doing well here. At least, 
We've got our own peace and quiet. But if the mages turn that reactor on, we'll be scared stiff. Tell me more about the reactor. I think it's worrying. Sure, the mages know what they're doing, but... Between you and me, if that thing blows up, we've had it. Do you have a reason for your concern? Well, even mages are human, and humans make mistakes. One mistake in their calculations and boom! I'll take care of the gnomes. You would try to find it for me? Yeah. Good. Here's Magnus' list. It's about the gnomes Dakil, Faris, and Gadi. I've scribbled a few notes on it. About the gnomes. Where should I look for the gnomes? According to my information, they should be here in the camp somewhere. One should be at the harbor, and another is working out in the mines. Got it. I found Faris. He's in the good mine. Excellent. Here's your reward. I found Gaddy. He's working for the warehouse master, Rummel, down at the harbor. I'm glad to hear that. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled. Ah, a new face in the camp. Are you the replacement for Geralt? Not that I know of. Damn. I'd hoped that somebody would finally take over his post. Does that mean I have to continue dealing with this waster? What kind of a problem have you got with Geralt? <laughs> Where do I start? He can't even do the simplest tasks. We've got rules here. And if they aren't observed, we'll have big problems. What rules are you talking about? Well, prick up your ears, okay? One, the word of the mages is law. Two, crystal mining is top priority. And three, one must not flake out at one's post. All right, understood. Ah, really? What's the first rule? The word of the mages is law. Correct. Nothing gets done without a strong chain of command. Only those who obey the rules of the camp will achieve something. Do you need help? Yes. I've been waiting too long for a bag of crystals to be delivered from the camp's mine. I'm not counting on Geralt bringing them anymore, which is why you are going to get them. I'll make it worth your while. I'll bring you your pouch of crystals. Excellent. Four filled pouches should suffice. Never forget, mining crystals has top priority. Yeah, yeah. He who disrespects the rules will receive no respect.
What do you want? Tired. You'd be tired too if you were permanently on guard duty. Guard duty? It's not like anything ever happens here. That's exactly what I was trying to tell Frink. But then he just started with all that rubbish about the rules. I tell you, he's got his head so far up Magnus's ass, he never sees the sun. Have a rest for once. Whoa, and get caught by Frink? Nah. I have to get Gnome Dakiel moving anyway. He's sleeping again. Hey, wait. What do you think about this idea? You make Dakiel work, and I'll have a rest. What do I get in return if I help you? Simple. What I don't know won't hurt me. If a few crystals make their way into your pockets from time to time, I'll turn a blind eye. But don't think you can snitch on our arrangement to Frink for a few gold. I'll give Dakiel a proper talking to. Good. I can have a rest at last. Frink asked me to collect pouches of crystals here in the mine. Oh. Are you his new errand boy? He said that this was actually your job. It was my job. Now it's yours. Have fun while you're at it. But look at it this way. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Such is life. I've got a few pouches of crystals. And I'm not interested. Talk to Frink. Here. That should be the last of the pouches of crystals. You're really quick. Not bad. Here's your payment. That concludes the shipment. General Magnus will be happy. And now I can get a few tankards in the tavern. Uh, I mean, now I can sleep easy at night. Garel said I could steal a few crystals in the mine. What? You will leave them where they are. The crystals are for the mages. Nobody can help themselves here. I'll tell Magnus about this. And there will be consequences for Geralt. As for you, I hope you're not hiding any crystals from the mine in your pockets. I may have concealed a crystal or two somewhere. Well, look at that. At least you admit it. You're more honest than I thought. Although stealing crystals is not allowed, I'll turn a blind eye this time. In return, I'll expect you to work for the community. Don't follow Geralt's example. If you have nothing more to report, you may leave.
He who disrespects the rules will receive no respect. Where in the world is my soap? Home is all mad. No more blah blah. Homie, leave me alone. Lamy wants to stay in the well. Hmm. Really? Hmm. All right. I'll check on him later. Thank you for trying. One day, Ali will become great guardian. Yip yip. I'm done with you only have yourself to blame. <laughs> 